I think you're right that the bank's valuations of European equities have been low, although they've been performing better over the last few months, particularly since year end, their performance has been in line with the European equities overall, despite some of the turmoil in the banking sector. Now, the question why those valuations are so low relative to existing book values, I would put more emphasis on their sustainability of the business model going forward. You know, return on equity of European bank has been low. As interest rates have been rising, that return on equity has been increasing. Now it's close to 10%, which is very close to what, we, what analysts tell us the cost of equity is. So I think that as interest rates rise, if they continue to show the banks that their business model is sustainable, we should see enhancements over the medium long term on those valuations as well. I, I think that's a fabulous point. So I'm just going to follow you down the road on this one as well. Cost of capital, of course, has gone up. The return on equity is picking up, return on the capital, but nowhere near as, again, as profitable as it should be. Do we just have the same old problem that we've been discussing this entire century? Too many banks, too many unprofitable banks. We need consolidation. Well, that's a very interesting question that you put forward, and I think that you're absolutely right that there are lots of banks around the industry, and the question is not whether there are too many or too few. The important thing is that the ones that are, are good, they have sustainable business models, and they offer a good value proposition for their customers. So uh, I'm very much pro-consolidation. If that consolidation ends up resulting in better banks overall, you know, just consolidation for the sake of consolidation may not be a necessary policy or may not be a good outcome. What you want is good banks to succeed, bad banks to be able to orderly exit the market. And within the context of the European Union, I think an important related message is that that consolidation should go along to fostering a more integrated single market in the European Union so we can have cross-border banking and more efficient services to European customers. To me, that's the key, the consolidation towards a more effective, better functioning market overall.